What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Sunday, January 28th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a three game slate tonight. I've got some good picks here. I'll give you one at each position. Not going to give you any studs. Not a lot of players on the slate, so not too many studs to pick from. But there are some good value plays and some sleeper picks on this slate. So at the point guard position, here's a value play. I like Markel Fultz from the Orlando Magic playing the Phoenix Suns, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. They give up the third most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Markel Fultz has averaged 19.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game. But what I like about this pick is he scored 50 fantasy points in his last game versus the Phoenix Suns, and he's projected at 27.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value. He's only 5,100 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 227.5 points scored in this game. So it's a good matchup, good player versus team history, and a nice price tag for his upside. So I like Markel Fultz here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So I like Gary Trent Jr. from the Toronto Raptors playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have the second worst defense overall. They give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Gary Trent Jr. averaging 19.3 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He's projected at 19.5 fantasy points here tonight. So the projection is low because they're just kind of, you know, looking at a season average. But um, the reason I think this is going to be a sleeper pick is because my guess is he's going to be relatively low ownership, um, not projecting out to have a ton of value. But I see past the projections here. I see a good matchup. I see a guy who's played 28, 23, and 25 minutes in the last three games. Now only scored 20, 12, and 23 fantasy points. But at 5,000 DraftKings and FanDuel salary, he only needs 25 fantasy points to get you five times value. And if Gary Trent Jr. plays close to 30 minutes and gets hot, he can easily put up 30 plus fantasy points. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 237.5 points scored in this game. So a relatively high scoring game. Uh, might be the um, highest projected scoring game on the slate. So probably a good game to stack. And you got some good value here. And probably some low ownership. So I like Gary Trent Jr. as a sleeper pick here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So, here's a value play. I like Sadiq Bey from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Toronto Raptors, who have the 12th worst defense overall, give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards, and Sadiq Bey has averaged 25.8 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. 
Now, he's projected at 24.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.4 times value. He's 5,700 DraftKings salary, only 400 more on FanDuel. Um, but if you take a look at his last three games, Sadiq Bey has scored 33, 35, and 26 fantasy points, playing 37, 26, and 30 minutes. So he's been playing quite a few minutes and been uh, outperforming his season average for the last three games in a row. So it looks like Sadiq Bey is hot. He's playing at home. Uh, looks like a fast-paced game here. And let's see how he's done versus the Raptors. Awesome. He has scored 31, 33, 23, 38, and 25 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Raptors. So four out of those last five games. Uh, maybe three or four out of those last five games would he have a hit value. Um, and a couple of those games would have got you well over five times value. So I like Sadiq Bay here versus the Toronto Raptors. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. So he's not necessarily a stud, but certainly is one of the more expensive players on the slate. Although I do think he's got good upside for his price tag here tonight. I like DeMar DeRozan from the Chicago Bulls playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the six worst defense overall, middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. DeMar DeRozan averaging 28 point, I'm um, sorry, averaging 38.6 fantasy points per game on the season. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Playing an average of 37 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. So he's projected at 37.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 7,700 DraftKings salary. 400 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 217 points scored in this game. And I like this pick because DeMar DeRozan scored 54, 33, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 39, and 36 minutes. So he's playing a ton of minutes. Last uh, Two out of his last three, he hit value. And last game, over 50, crushed it. So he's got that 50 plus fantasy point upside. It's a decent matchup. So, and his price tag I think is uh, pretty good here. So I like DeMar DeRozan here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, moving on to the center position. Here's another value play. I like Clint Capella from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Toronto Raptors who have a middle of the pack defense overall middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Clint Capella has averaged 30.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's projected at 27 fantasy points here tonight, and that's just about five times value. He's 5,500 DraftKings salary, 800 more on FanDuel. We know Vegas thinks there's gonna be 237.5 points scored in this game so it's a good game to stack Clint Capella is averaging 30.3 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 17 percent usage rate so he's projected at 27 fantasy points he scored 25 30 and 33 fantasy points over the last three games playing 24 24 and 22 minutes so he could easily put up his season average here, get you 30 fantasy points, and uh, get you over five times value on DraftKings. So I like Clint Capella here versus the Toronto Raptors.
If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.